Hello. Today I'd like to show you how to prepare a man's shirt for use in quilting. These shirts are available all over the place from car boot sales to charity shops. But whatever you buy, make sure the fabric is good and thick, not too stretchy. A good guide is to try and buy designer shirts rather than those from supermarkets because as the price reflects normally, they're of much better quality. Okay, so first of all I've got my shirt here, ready washed, ironed and ready for cutting up. And the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the collar. Now this is a bit that we're not going to need, but I like to keep every last little bit of fabric until the end. Okay, so I'm cutting off the collar here. Okay, lay that to one side. Okay, the next part is the cuffs. Again, not always very useful, but you never know. You might find, once you've got a large collection of cut-off cuffs, you might find some use for them. I've seen them made into quilts and handbags and all sorts of things. So use your imagination. Okay, once we've done the cuffs, let's cut off the sleeves. Probably easier just to lay it flat. At this stage, try and get as much fabric as you can, but don't worry about it too much. Okay, once you've cut off a sleeve, open it out, the seam upwards, and just snip along the seam. Okay, laying them out as you go, so you're ready to cut them up. Okay, once I've cut off the sleeves, then I cut the fronts off along the yoke and down the side seams. Okay, the same on the other side. Another sleeve. the front and lastly remove the yolk from the back the yolk shouldn't be discarded with the collar and cuffs because it is useful when cutting four inch squares which when we come to cutting quilting squares you'll see where they're useful and there the back and there's your shirt and kit form ready to be cut into squares <laughs>